before we break down what we think the issues are, I think that's the the one that sits on the top of the Sunday. That's Starts. the cherry for me. Is doesn't it feel like can, a fixable one though, Kipper? Can, so I'm not as you, worried you, about that you one. You can pick. See, I'm not sure how easily fixable it is. And what are the like issues? The, like, if the game is bigger, if it's a playoff game, if, is it easier to get guys' attention? If I'm now Brendan Shanahan or, you know what, we witnessed it with Jim Rutherford, president of Vancouver, Saturday night, you can watch what you watch. But your first question when you go down into that coach's office is, why aren't they ready to start? Mm-hmm. And if I'm Sheldon, I don't know what the answer is. I really don't. Do you want to hear him talk about it? Um, Absolutely. I'm, I'm... But I think <laughs> we know for sure that somewhere between warm-up and the end of the game, Sheldon maybe said on a few occasions, boys, we, we got to start better. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it didn't happen. That and that's my first question yeah. is Why? What do you think it is? Personnel? They don't listen to the coach? Is that not a legitimate question to ask? Yes. And do you... Are they uh, getting tired of him? Are they... They don't believe in him? They don't believe in the, the, the things that he's preaching? Or can you lead a horse to water? But you can't make him drink. You lead the players that the right instructions and the right whatever, and they just... Yeah, we'll figure it out. We always figure it out. You know, Sammy's playing well. We'll hang around. We'll get our, we'll probably score. That after you watch, I I thought in many ways last night kind of looked and felt like Montreal where you're watching it going, what's going on here, boys? It's a pretty clear to me way to play the Leafs defensively though, Kipper, which is like Montreal, which is pack it in. Pack it in. You you stand up at the blue line because you know the Leafs like possession. They don't want to dump it, right? So you stay up. Once they finally get in the zone, if they can get through you because they're not going to dump it, you can pack it in a little bit, and they don't want to fight through to the inside. They'll keep it around the outside. After two periods, I sent you guys that stat. The Leafs had had the puck ozone possession time for five and a half minutes to Vegas's two and a half minutes, but Vegas had double the amount of slot shots because Toronto wasn't turned that time into grade eight slot chances right now. They're not getting looks. It's hard, it's hard to get to the middle of the ice. They're it's big, hard. They're it's work. A big, strong team Great too. defense. Yeah. hundred percent. That to me is an identifying an issue with this team. Do you remember at the end of Babcock's tenure, one of the biggest things Babcock, we always even joked about it was start, start on time. Start on, on time. time. Yeah. All every press conference at the, we didn't start on time. You got to start on time. Mark, he talked about the, Anthem singer, oh, Martinez started on time, and we didn't. Like, he was always talking about, <laughs> yeah. he did. He always talked about starting on time, and it was a huge narrative close to the end of his tenure that they never started on time, that they always had these bad starts, and what's happening again? All right. Do we have uh, Sheldon on the sluggish start? We do. It certainly was an issue tonight in all three periods, so... Uh, I, I share in that as well. My job is to prepare the team, and clearly we were not uh, as ready as the opponent was. They, they jumped on top of us at the start of each each period. Took us took us probably 10, 12 minutes in the first and second to really get our game going. I thought the back half of each of those periods we were fine, and then uh, in the third period we didn't find it at all. Probably a symptom of them, you know, just scoring and getting the lead, and and uh, us, you know, not having. Uh, not having enough push, push back to get through what we needed to to get some goals. Well, there you go. Far cry from pointing the finger at anybody like right. elite players. And one of the first things he said that should be acknowledged is I share in that. That is the responsibility of the head coach to get yeah. his team ready. And it falls on him. End of, of story. No, not the end of story because there's a captain in there and there's players yeah. and there's veterans and there's yeah. leaders and there's for, guys for sure. Yeah. Who at some point got to go fellas. I don't care if you don't want to do it for yeah. what's his name out there. You know, in here, we got to win some hockey. But you know better. You know, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. I do know that. 
you know <laughs> that you're not getting rid of your players. <laughs> right.